Hi everyone, uh, my name's Claire and I work for the Bumblebee Conservation Trust on their Skills for Bees project in Wales. So I do an awful lot of um, surveying of bumblebees and working with volunteers um, to help them learn to identify bumblebees. And today I'm going to show you quickly um, how to safely catch and pot a bee. Because when we're recording bumblebees we do need to sometimes look up close uh, using a hand lens. So our three main bits of equipment are a net, which can be quite simple, like this beginner's um, insect net, a little insect pot, and I use kitchen roll, which helps you to um, stop the bee buzzing and flying around and hitting the sides of the tube, allows you to make it nice and still without harming the bee, and a little hand lens, okay, which is just a times 10 hand lens, which is perfectly adequate for looking at bumblebees. And, um, in my experience, there are three ways that you can uh, put, get the bee safely into the pot. So we want to avoid being stung and we want to avoid damaging the bee. So the first method is not to use the net and just to use the pot. So I'm going to ask you to zoom in a bit so that you can see me a little bit closely. And first of all, we're going to look for a bee. So uh, I'm in a meadow full of knapweed, which is really nice. And there are lots of males around at the moment. Um, nectaring on the knapweed so we'll wait for him to settle and you can very gently pop the flower in the tube with a bee and then really gently we've got him in there okay and it doesn't harm them bumblebees are quite tough and uh, hardy as long as you make sure that you, when you've um, finished studying your bee that you release it in the same spot so that it can find its way home or back to the flowers that it needs. So then, once you've got it in the pot, you use your lens, you keep the lens near your eye and you bring the bee up until it comes into sharp focus. Okay, so you keep the lens, but you can move the subject. In this case, a little male red-tailed bumblebee. And I can see him beautifully, see all his little features and I can be a bit more confident then of my identification. Okay, so I'm going to let him go. So, quite happy there. And now I'm going to show you how to use the net. So I'm going to put my pot in the pocket. I've got my puppy here, which is uh, not helping at all. Um, so I don't advise you go looking for bees with your dogs. Much easier without them. So, we've got a little bee here. You want to have a little zoom in and this time it's a little female red tail worker this time which i can tell because she hasn't got any yellow on her face so the other thing you can do with your net if you want to just have a look at the net here if you want to zoom out a little bit and you can see i'm holding it with two hands okay is to put the net over the flower this doesn't always work but what you want to try and do is get the bumblebee in the net hold it up and with a bit of patience, you can sometimes little, give it a little shake, just a gentle shake. And you can, can you see her in the net? She's beginning to go up towards the top. Okay, she's being a little bit reluctant, but she'll tend to go up the walk towards the top, so nice and slow. And then if you fold the net over like that, she isn't going to fly away. Be really careful because they can sting through the net. And because this is a female, she could sting me. And then what you want to do is get your pot. I tend to kind of kneel down to do this bit so that I know my bee is safe. I find it a bit easier than standing up. And you just put the open pot into the net so that the bee will show you. So she's in the pot with the net over the end. And then very gently it's a bit fiddly takes a bit of practice pop the kitchen roll into the pot and again you have your bee okay so you can see her hopefully little little worker okay so that's the kind of up and over method over the plants I'm gonna let her go and the other way so we need to find one more bee Take your time in the field, really, really helps. Don't rush everything. So I can see a little, this time, that's 
flown away. It's a little fluffle like tail, but there's a few over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and show you the more swish and flick method. Okay, so there's a bee on this mat weed down here. And if they're in flight or sometimes on the top of the flower, just swish the bee, flick the net and get it down to the bottom of the net. You swish it like that and then fold. And again, I've got the bee in the end of the net. Just double check. Yeah, she's in there. So again, get your pot. And just to show you one more time, if you want to focus in a little bit. So hold the net up. She'll go to the top. In this case, it's another female. Just very gently put the net over the top of the pot. And then... And there she is. I'll put my net under my arm. And then you can... Yeah, definitely a female. With her short antennae and her pollen baskets on the back. Okay. And I'm going to let her go and she can fly off back to her nest. Okay, and that's how you part a bee.